Bhagavad Gita, text 2.62 to 63. When one contemplates the sense objects, attachment for them is born. From attachment, desire is born. From desire, frustration. And from frustration, delusion. When one is deluded, memory is lost. With the loss of memory, the power of discrimination is destroyed. With the destruction of discrimination, one's own self is lost. The self is lost for one who succumbs to the contemplation of sense objects. The real work of yoga is in curbing the mind from such contemplation. If the mind is controlled, one can be peaceful, even when physical circumstances are disturbing. If the physical circumstances are in order, but the mind is not peaceful, one cannot be happy. When the mind contemplates sense objects, jayato, vijayan, foundness for them and attachment, sangaha, to them follow. Thinking the sense objects to be in our interest, we hanker, kamaha, for them. When their acquisition is obstructed by something, frustration and anger, grodaha, appear. This anger is directed toward that which thwarts our efforts to acquire sense objects. From anger, delusion, samohaha develops, and under its influence one does not know what is to be done and what is not to be done. This is followed by loss of memory, vipramaha, in which condition one goes astray from that which is taught in the scripture and instructed by the spiritual perceptor. Thus, naturally, one does not get the proper understanding and certainty that are characteristic of Bodhi, certainty about the nature of ultimate reality does not arise in one who has been dragged down into the maelstrom of desire and destruction. Even if such certainty were to somehow arise, it would not remain constant and thus would not bear the fruit of liberation. Hence, one's self is lost. Pranashyati. Krishna next begins to answer the fourth part of Arjuna's question regarding the way in which an enlightened person walks or interacts with the world. Such a person's mind is controlled while his senses are interacting with sense objects. <laughs> 